Hi there guys, welcome to topic 19. In this 19, we're going to be designing a bed. That's correct, we're going to be designing a bed for this bedroom over here. So let's see how do we do that. Now for designing the bed, I'm going to be taking a rectangle of 2 meters, 2 meters. So that will be 2, 2. And once I'm done with this much, I can easily go ahead and use the push command to pull this up at point just 3. So point 3. Once I'm done creating this much of a mass, I will select all the below lines by pressing Ctrl with the select command. Only these three sides, no need of the behind side. And I will copy them up, 0 0.05. Now we can even push each of these sides inside, 0 0.05. Similarly this side. And this side as well. Once I've pushed all of these sides inside, we will be creating two arcs over here by taking A on this side one edge and one edge on this side. As you guys can see, I've created both these arcs on either sides. Now, if we want to follow the same size of these arcs, that too is easy. What we will do is, we will select this side over here. Now, I will select the rotate command and I will come over here, which will be the midpoint after I have selected this midpoint, you can see that it is in the green axis and not in the blue axis. The blue axis will make it move flat like this, which is not what we want. What we want is that it will be in the green axis. So we can easily rotate this on this side. And the minute I have it here, I can copy it from this point over here and erase this off. Now we can easily push these below. And similarly push these below and just erase off this if there is any extra surface erased these portions off I can go ahead and create my backrest for the backrest I will select this line over here and copy it in the front 0.15 and press enter now I can pick this up 0.3 as you guys can see, we will be having this kind of a backrest. And now I will again select the two point arc. And from this midpoint, I'll make a straight line down and make an arc behind. And now we can easily use the push pull command to push these behind as such. If you do get stuck at a certain place, it's okay. You can just continuously keep pushing it behind. Now we can push this rectangle all the way to here. Now, once I've created this much, I will go ahead and take an offset inside of 0.05 and I will give a drop to this area of 0.02. So this will basically be the area where my mattress will come. So that was quite easy to create the outline of our bed, wasn't it? But now we'll be creating the side units as well. So do have a look. For the side units, I will be using my line command and I will come to this point over here. I will draw a straight line which will be 0.45 and then easily we will find the point. Now remember when I'm finding a point which I've already drawn on the line, I will get it through this green dot. Now I can draw a line over here of 0.05 and go behind all the way till here and go back down. Once I'm done with this much, I will select this side, M control and copy from here and paste over here. You can see I've only pasted this surface, so we don't need to draw it again. Now I will pull this out, but remember, just not directly like this. We will press control and pull it out. And I will pull it out 0.45. So we will have one shelf over here. Similarly, pull this one out 0.45. Just make sure you have the plus sign, which is going to come in by control. Guys, after we have finished this much off, we will need to create a small drawer over here. Well, at least it should look like a drawer. Now we'll make this whole bed into one single group. And I will make a 
rectangle over here. I can easily pull this rectangle down till this point over here and push it inside 0 0.03. Similarly from this side, I will push it inside 0 0.03. Guys, once I am done with this much, I will do the same thing on that side or we can just copy this from here and paste it over there which I will show you how to do. Now I will take an offset inside of 0 0.02 similarly over here and just pull this portion out till here as well as this portion out till here. So we have something like this. Now we can do 1, 2 and 3, right click and make this into a group. After I've made this into a group, I can copy it from here and paste it over here. And right click, flip along and I will flip it along the red axis. This would easily flip it along the side that we need. And from below, I can easily match this point to this point over here. I hope you guys have understood how to use reference pointings because that is very important as you guys would have seen. And once we are done with this entire bed, we can obviously bring the mattress, the pillows and the entire blanket from the 3D warehouse. But we will not be building those over here since we have already and we will easily be able to get it from the 3D warehouse. Once I'm done with this much, I will select the whole thing and make it into a group. After this, I can easily place it inside from this midpoint and take it over here. Now remember, before I place it over here, I will press K. K will give me an X-ray vision so I can easily see where I have to place it and I will go ahead and set it over there. And we can press K again. Now once you're done with this, you will notice that the curve of your back must have gone inside. So we can just select it and move it outside as such. And that's it. We are done with our bed placement. That was quite simple and a very creative bed to be created like this. Well, I hope you guys are liking the fact that not only we are doing structures, but we're getting into the details of interiors as well as furniture. Well guys, once you all are done with this much, I would like you guys to copy this bed and maybe place it in both these rooms as well. And I'll see you guys in the next section. Take care.